I am Samuel Bartell. I'm a blockhead, and I'm sitting here in my DN ice boat on Pewaukee Lake in Wisconsin. First time I ever went ice boating was back on Lake Minnetonka with a good friend of mine named Terry Foster. And it was probably blowing like 20 to 25 miles an hour. And to be honest, I was, I was pretty nervous. I was pretty scared. And I was even more scared once we started going. And it was super loud. It was uh, like ear piercing. The whistle of the wind, um, the you know like piercing chill of, of the of the cold air, and the you know bunners going across the ice at 60, 70, 80, 80 miles an hour was incredibly loud. You go two, three, four times the speed of the wind. So you know, east cows are fast, but ice boats are you know two to three times that speed. So I think for me, who's kind of an adrenaline junkie, wanting to go fast uh, was something that I like had to do again. I found myself in this ice boat because um, one of our uh, coaches of the Wisconsin sailing team, Dave Elsmo, is uh, a great help in getting new people in, into ice boating. And he heard that I wanted to be into ice boating really, really badly. So he helped me to find the hull. Um, a couple of his friends helped me find the plank and the mast and the boom and the sail. And after connecting with you know dozens of people, I was able to piece together all the small pieces to make it work. I have started in a couple of practice fleet races, but but none that were actual events. Um, and you know, starting in the ice boat, obviously, you know, that was pretty mind-boggling, I think. And you know, seeing 50 ice boats, you know, 25 here, 25 there, starting in in both directions, and then all of a sudden going 50, 60 miles an hour, was was pretty crazy. It's like you know, normal sailing, but uh, fast forward, you know, three times speed. So I, ice boating is, is, is pretty interesting because a lot of um, the, you know, wind dynamics, seeing puffs and all that kind of stuff, it has to do with your instincts. You know, because a lot of the time you, you can't really see when, when a puff is coming. Maybe there's a boat in front of you that starts to, to like heal up, then you might know that, that, a, that a big puff is coming. But for the most part, ice boating is, it's like practicing your, your best soft water instincts. Um, so like when you're, you know, soft water sailing and you're uh, in a 420 or something, if you get a big puff, your boat starts to heal up a little bit kind of slowly, sometimes it might go fast. But if you're not quick with your reactions, then you lose tons of speed, the boat might heal up and capsize, and ice boating takes that to the next level, to the point where, um, you know, if you don't ease fast enough in a big puff, or if you don't trim in fast enough in a big lull, you know, bam, you, you've lost tons of speed, or maybe you're your runners coming off the ice, you, you know, you might capsize. That, that does happen in ice boating, and it's uh, it's probably the best practice that you could do for for your soft water sailing. So this is my first year ice boating, and my ultimate goal is to go to the national championships for ice boating, and uh, I'll probably be in the silver fleet, which is like the second tier fleet. Gold fleet's obviously the best people, um, but being new, I'll be in the silver fleet probably, and my goal is to finish somewhere in the top ten. Um, they're probably going to be, you know, 30, 40, 50 boats in that fleet. And, you know, I've been watching a lot of videos, kind of, you know, tinkering with the boat and all the settings and stuff. And after practicing for a few days, I, th I think it's, I, I think I could probably pull it off. 